I need to get in there. Mm, one second. Oh, oh no. What? Uh, come and see what I did. Babe, we are not there yet. Uh, no, come. Look. <laughs> well, you can't flush that. Ew. No, don't use that. Oh, come on, help me. Come, come in, come in. Yuck. One second. Yuck. Oh my gosh. Gross. Oh, it doesn't work. That thing never worked when it worked. You need a real phone. I can't afford a real phone. I'll pay for it. No big deal. I can't let you do that. I'll figure something out. You get one of those pay to go phones. A burner? What, are you a drug dealer? Let me get you a phone. Shine your light. Open email. Just opened your email. <laughs> it's so cool, right? Show me tomorrow's weather. <laughs> I can hear you. You don't have to talk so close. Partly cloudy, 63 degrees. What? How could you afford this thing? Laura got it for me. Sugar, baby. Okay, it wasn't that much. And she just put me on her plan. For real? Wouldn't want me to put me on his plan. Yeah? I have to pleasure him in demeaning ways every night. Laura's not like that. Everyone's like that a little. You have your own cup. Yeah, when you come here a lot, they give you one. What one? I don't come here a lot. You will. Did you get your own cup? Saito, can you get Sophia your own cup, please? Oh, uh, that's okay. I don't want a cup. It, it's fine. I really don't need one. But you should have one, though. She'll have her own cup. Thank you. So, Meg and Nicole want us to come by for dinner tonight before they head out to Michigan. Oh, I can't. I have Miles' tequila thing. And you're just gonna be a face in the crowd. Can you just skip it? No. Well, can you just stop by and then come meet us? No. I don't want to. I want to be there to support Miles and Daphne. Okay, it's not an argument. I now officially hate this phone. What? I love this thing. I can talk to it, it listens. What else does that? Nothing. Yeah, well, Lauren, I went out for lunch today and she asked me to do something. But she also knew that this was happening and when I said no, I swear to God, she looked at that phone. See? That's why I'm no phone. Oh, it is a great phone. It is a great phone. Ugh. You guys sound crazy. I am. Shouldn't have let her get me this phone. Shouldn't have let her put me on the plan. Turns out you don't mix love and money. Let me ask you something. Please. If you dropped your phone in the toilet and then your newish girlfriend bought you a new one and then put you on her plan for two years. What if you break up? I know. My life is a telecommunications tragedy. Are you real texting? Huh? Are you real or fake texting? <laughs> Some people fake text. I'm real texting. Uh -huh. Myself a shopping list. Why? What do you need to get? <laughs> Soy milk, umbrella. Mm. You're ready for the vegan apocalypse. Oh, I already have a great emergency kit. That's very important. It is. You know, no one listens to me about that, but there's like a volcano under Yosemite, yes. <gasps> I'm Natalie. Hey, I'm Sophia. Oh. <laughs> do you ever go to Hopley? No, what's Hop Leaf? It's this lesbian beer oasis. I work there. You look so familiar to me. Maybe you see me at Donut Girl? I work there. I mean, until recently. <laughs> Maybe I saw you in my dreams. What? You did not just say that. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Occupy! I am, I wanted to talk to you. Come in. I have a spare key for next time. Laura, thank you. Never about the phone? No. I told you, it's no big deal. About the phone. You mean what? Everything. For showing up in my life. For being this wonderful, amazing person that you are being patient with me and 
and loving me and and making me feel safe enough to you know, reach out from my little shell and, and dare to be myself. Is there someone else? Yeah, me. But you're such a safe place for me, Laura. I mean, you give me everything. You pay for everything. I drop my friggin' phone in the toilet and, and you get me a new one. I'm just trying to help. I need to grow up. Can't you grow up with me? I don't think so. <laughs>